hello YouTube and welcome to our channel Project MR Gaming. My name is Art and today I want to show you uh, how you can uh, host a uh, vRising uh, server in a Docker container based on Amazon LightSail. Um, so what you need at this point is of course you need an AWS uh, account. Uh, but well, it's not part of this uh, demo how you do this. So basically, you need an account, and then under Amazon LightSail, uh, we will create a new instance uh, where we will install Docker and start our server. So at this point, it doesn't really matter where you have your Docker environment. Uh, so all you need is a Docker environment to start our uh, server. Uh, based on an image which I created uh, yesterday and today I tweaked it a little bit. Um, uh, so I will also try to maintain it a little longer, maybe add some features to it. If there are any requests, feel free to uh, ask me in the comments. Um, I will also link uh, our description which uh, commands I'm uh, I will do later on to start uh, the Docker environment. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we now create a new instance. Uh, don't um, yeah be upset. It's in German. I didn't want to change this at this point, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we just want an just operating system. At this point, I would take Amazon uh, Linux 2 uh, as uh, uh, operating system which I will use, but you can take Ubuntu, Debian, SUSE, CentOS, uh, whichever you like uh, or you already have some experience with, so it doesn't really matter. At this point we also need this bigger instance, so it will cost us 20 bucks each month in theory if it will yeah, run all the time, but you can stop it whenever you want or delete it uh, if you don't want to play the game anymore or yeah, don't want to use the server. So I will take, give this thing a name, vrining, rising um, server. And yeah, I will hit this button to create this instance. This will take uh, a few seconds until it's up and ready. So we will wait for it because now we uh, will also need to do some additional changes on this uh, virtual machine, which will be hopefully ready the next, uh, in the next seconds. So let's wait a little bit. So it's up and ready. So we go to the network pa panel here and we create a static IP address. So here now you can select the vRising server Docker uh, static IP address vRising server. So why I create the static IP address? Well, basically because uh, if you start and stop this virtual machine, um, you will get a new IP address each time the yeah, machine is recreated and stopped and restarted. And this is something we want to prevent. Uh, so with the static IP address, uh, the IP address is now uh, linked to your virtual machine and this uh, static IP address will, yeah, won't change at all. So you can start and stop this machine, but you will always have this IP address, which will be given. Uh, yeah, then we go to the VRise. So the, the next thing is you uh, click on your instance and go here to the network panel. Uh, because what we now want to do, uh, we need to add a rule uh, to open the ports we will uh, use in the game. So basically, um, so the only ports which are allowed is 80 and 22. These are the only uh, ports which are opened on this virtual machine. So any uh, other connect to this port, uh, to any port is yeah, blocked by the firewall based on uh, Amazon light sale. So yeah, if you don't change the IP addresses uh, or the port, okay, forget it. If you don't change the ports, uh, our game will be running on 9876 uh, and 9877. 
Um, so yeah, so this is uh, the IP range, so the both ports, uh, the port range. Um, so this ports need to be opened, so I create this uh, rule set for it. And now both ports are opened on our server. And what we do now is we basically connect to this instance. We'll make this large, oh, too, too soon. Yep, so now I can scroll it up. And now we will install Docker. So for this, uh, I update the system. So each package which is already installed uh, will be updated. So this is something you should uh, consider doing um, yeah, from time to time uh, to keep your virtual machine uh, yeah, uh, up to date. And now we will install Docker. Sudo yum uh, install Docker. You could also uh, use a uh, uh, minus y option to prevent this um, manual step um, at this point. So this would take some seconds. Um, now I will um, yeah, give uh, grant the rights to use Docker commands for our user, which is uh, EC2 user. Uh, I will install Docker Compose. Uh, so all those commands will be also, uh, 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 yeah, you can copy and paste from our side. Uh, and I will link it in the uh, description of the video. So um, you don't need to uh, type this manually. Um, yeah, Docker Compose was installed. So now I enable the Docker service. So at this point, if you restart the machine, the Docker service will come back up again. So what I do now is I start the service. And what I would do also is to check if the service is already running. Yep. And now to verify that Docker uh, is coming back up again, I will reboot the machine. Yep. The connection is lost. This is this. So now uh, this would take a few seconds uh, until the machine is up and ready again. So uh, I will wait a little bit. Is it is it there already? I'm not sure. Mm, nope, it's not there. The problem is you also cannot wait at this point. Uh, I think that this uh, will stay forever this way. So I will close this window again and wait a little bit longer and try to connect again. Yep, so now the service is running. Uh, what I can do now is check the status again and see that yeah, Docker is running. I can also do uh, Docker info commands. So we see that it's yeah, running. So there are no containers running at all. Um, so yeah, we can verify with, with Docker PS. Well, you, as you see, there is nothing. So what we do now is we finally start with uh, starting our uh, vRising server. Uh, so, like I said before, at this point, it mustn't be uh, an, an yeah, Amazon uh, LightSail instance. Uh, so, what you all what you need is based uh, only a Docker environment where Docker is running uh, to start up our container. So, yeah, this was just the beginning. How you can install a Docker environment on your uh, virtual machine hosted by Amazon LightSail. What I do now is make dear saves in the user folder. So why I do this? Because this saves folder will be now mounted uh, to our container. Uh, so even if the container crashes, all our saves uh, will be stored on the uh, device directly on the, under your virtual machine. So you can restart your server and your save files will, yeah, be there. What you can also do is to uh, export the save files and put them on a different server uh, when you want to.
when you want to start your um, or continue your uh, play uh, where you left. So basically all you need to do is to export the save files. And now I will download our uh, Docker Compose uh, YAML. So we get uh, this Docker Compose and now I will edit this file. Uh, you can also take any different um, editor. Uh, I always use V, so yeah, but doesn't really matter. So as you can see, this is the description. We are using the image. Uh, the image is hosted on uh, a GitLab uh, and is yeah, maintained by me. So all you need to do is, uh, yes, yeah, so this is V rising wine, uh, Y wine. Um, the server is just Windows and wine, um, yeah, is emulating Windows somehow. So, but as I heard is um, that V rising should also be natively deployable and startable directly on uh, Linux uh, machines. So yeah, if this will be changed, uh, I will also adopt this and change our project. Um, yeah, latest, we use this latest image. So like I said, here is the binding. So we, uh, yeah, Bind our created saves folder uh, to saves on the um, in the inside the container. So all you need to do is here to change the uh, name for your server. So we will take the rising uh, demo server uh, password. I won't change, so it will be one two three four. We also want to be public list and a PVE instance. On these are the ports which uh yeah which are opened and we didn't change them so yeah this is also something you need to do uh or and this that was it um so now we escape and double point vq um so basically write quit so we changed it and now what we can do is docker compose uh, com compose up. So what he will do now is um, to download uh, the image. Uh, the image is round about two gigabytes large. So this will take a few seconds until it's up and ready. Um, so yeah, I will use this time for a little um, add service here. Uh, so if this helps you, please leave us a like and uh, if you have questions or additional requirements, uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, yeah, you can leave a comment or yeah, contact us over any of our other channels. Um, and yeah, I will try to help you as good as I can. Um, yeah, so that's it. At this point, so like I said, uh, all you need is a Docker environment where you can start this Docker container. So yeah, it mustn't uh, or need not to be uh, Amazon. So you can also, if you have a different cloud provider, you can use it there. Uh, I will also try uh, to start uh, this server uh, image on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have the latest version somewhere lying in my home. Uh, so I guess I will um, try this also on this uh, Docker uh, or, or on this um, Raspberry Pi and I will add an additional video just for this Pi creation. Um, um, yeah. So now the server is starting. This will take a few minutes. Um, so yeah, I will pause pause this video for this um, because we don't need to uh, wait like five minutes until it's up and ready. So uh, see you. Uh, so I'm back again. Uh, I waited like five minutes and now the server should be ready. Uh, so what I do now is I will copy the uh, public IP address, the static IP address we have uh, created in the very beginning. Um, yeah, And I will start vRising. I will 
skip the intro. Play, online play, find servers. So what you do now is use this direct connect thing. And you add the uh, IP address here with the, with the paste command and you can connect to it. As you can see now the server is ready. Uh, one, two, three, four, if I remember the password correctly as I didn't change it. And yeah, after a few seconds, we should be able to create our um, character. So um, I will randomize a little bit. Uh, yeah, she looks gorgeous. And yeah, so I can now hop in on the server. And start the game. Uh, yeah, you can play with your friends at this point and yeah, you don't need to be afraid that your um, game progress will be lost. So if you, um, you leave the game, so basically you can click on continue uh, then the vRising demo server uh, will be also up there. Uh, so yeah, this will take a little bit uh, until he gets the information, but as you can see, uh, you have the information, the server is running, this is our other server which I also created. And you can hop in here and use the password and you can continue your game uh, at the point where you left. So basically also the same thing as when you play it alone. But at this point you can play it with all your friends and yeah, this frame friends can change and they can play also alone without you and yeah you can have different uh, setups of users which are gaming uh, so like i said i hope this video helped you if you have questions uh, feel free to ask and yeah you can leave a like and maybe an abo if this really helped you uh, this would also help us a lot and uh, yeah see you bye